What's up guys, in today's video, we are gonna be saving some bass. So this pond right next to me, right here, as you can see, I fish this all the time. I've been fishing this pond for, I think like three years now. And I've noticed every time I come here, the fish have been getting skinnier and skinnier and skinnier. And there's so many bass in here, it's not even funny. You, we can come out here, we've had 100 fish days out here. It's ridiculous, but now I've noticed they're starting to get skinnier, starting to get smaller, getting unhealthy. So we're gonna take some of these fish out of this pond and put them on a new pond that is also on this property just over there always. But we're gonna be using only mystery tackle box lures. So I haven't opened this up yet, so I'm gonna open this up right now and we're gonna see what we got in this month's box. If you guys are not familiar with Mystery Tackle Box, Mystery Tackle Box is a monthly box subscription. So basically you pay a little bit a month and you get a whole box full of great lures sent to your house. And I'm about to open this one and show you what I got. As you can see, we'll just open her up right here. And as you, oh geez, chatterbait's falling everywhere. There we go, we got a nice little chatterbait in this month's box. I think this is gonna do very good here. So we got a chatterbait, what else do we got? We got a nice jerkbait. Man, all these lures are great for fall time because this is a full box. The vile bug, this looks great from Biospawn. White shad in here, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be good. Lucky Craft 1.5, look at that, there we go. And if you guys would like to get $10 off your first order off Mystery Tackle Box, it's linked in my description and the promo code is out week and you get ten dollars off your first box i'm gonna take all the lures we have in this box i'm gonna tie them on my rods that are, which are in the car and i'm only gonna fish with these lures today i'm gonna try to catch as many fish as i can out of this pond with just the lures i got in this month's box from mystery tackle box so we're going to rig up now hopefully go save a ton of fish today but we have everything rigged up here except for the deep diving crankbait but we got the lucky craft 1.5 i think that's gonna do perfect we got the bio spawn vile bug the jerk bait and of course the chatterbait. Now I want you guys to take a look. Look at these. You guys see anything similar about these colors? They're all bait fish colors because this time of year, what do you think the bass are eating? Bait fish. They're all trying to get really fat and happy for the winter. So they're all eating as much as they can. They are feeding heavily on bait fish this time of year. So that is why most of these are all bait fish colors. We're gonna fill up this tub right here with water and I got a five gallon pail. So I'm just gonna have to run down to the pond and run back up like five times with a full bucket of water to fill up that tub. And then once I fill up the tub, we should be set for the day. We'll put like five bass in there and then we'll run over to the pond and put them in. We got everything all set up. We got the bucket full of water. We're grabbing the rods now and now the fun begins. We're going to catch some bass now. I've been seeing lots of them jump when I've been walking down there. So, fingers crossed, it's probably gonna be a good day. Just made it down here, so I think first weapon of choice is going to be the jerk bait, and then we'll try the vile bug, and then the chatter bait, and then the square bill. But they're all really good lures for this pond, but we're gonna start off with the jerk bait and see if we can't catch a fish. Got him, there we go. Oh my gosh, he's, <gasps> he came off. Oh my gosh, that was a big one, guys. That was a big one. That was on the vile bug. I gotta go all the way back to my car. Popping it right in and out of the, out of the weeds and he smoked it. Well, they're obviously pushed up on shore. So I'm gonna take this chatterbait and this vile bug right here. And we're just gonna beat the bank, I guess. Fish parallel to the bank, not very far offshore because they're not out in the middle. Oh, got him. There we go. First fish of the day, little dink. All right, we're gonna run them over here. We're gonna run them up to the, to the container. He hit it mid pop. I thought he was a little bit bigger than that. That's why I said the hook pretty, pretty hard, but we're about to run up to the car. And he'll be the first one to be transported to the new pond. Here we go. First fish in the tub. There we go. Now let's go back down to our stuff. Hopefully catch some more. Oh, he hit it right there. Oh my gosh, I saw the whole thing. Literally right in front of me. Oh, my drag was super loose. I thought it was a giant. Oh my gosh, I saw him hit it right in front of me. Right in front, that's crazy. There we go, another one. But look how skinny this fish is. This is why we are moving them to a new pond because you see how skinny, all right, I gotta take everything out of my pocket, but you see how skinny this fish is, right? Like it is ridiculously skinny and it is so unhealthy. So we're running back up to the 
to the car to put them in the cooler. But this fish is so unhealthy. Well, it's healthy, but it's just super skinny. There's no food for it. So that's why we're bringing it to the other pond so then it has more food. All right, here we go. The other bass is doing fine. Got the other one in there. We're good. Oh my gosh, did I just get slammed out there. Holy crap. Look at that. Did I get slammed out there or what? Oh my gosh. Whew. Well, I think they're like maybe, they're like three to five foot offshore. They're not on on the shore, but I'd say they're about three to five foot off the shore. Oh my gosh. Right in front of his face. There we go. It had to fall right in front of his face. Another one. Get up here. There we go, a little bit bigger. This is the third fish. All right, there we go. Third fish of the day. Not too bad. We're gonna run over back to the car. Man, I'm getting so much exercise today. Oh, I gotta run all the way over there again. But it's a good thing. We're helping this pond out. We're doing some pond management. It's a good thing. Third fish in the cooler. There we go. We got three lively bass in the cooler. There we go. It's doing this pond. This pond's gonna be so much better when I'm all done with this. And I'm gonna have to take more than five out to help this pond out. But every one we can get out is gonna help it. Got him. There we go. Oh, this is a nicer one. This is a nicer one. This is a nicer one. Oh, this is a nicer one. Ah, get up here, bud. There we go. This is what we're looking for right here. Got a female. Let's pull it out the hook out there we go but look how skinny this fish is guys super super unhealthy look at that i mean it's pretty healthy fish but like it's just super skinny you need to go somewhere with more food like this fish should be a lot fatter than that but we're, this is the size that is average for this pond but there's been way too many small ones but this is good we'll get a female we'll put it in the other pond so then we get spawners in the other pond all right, guys, here we go. Just made it back. All the bass are doing fine. Now the big one's in there. So we're gonna catch like two more, I think. Then I think that will be enough and then we'll have to go bring these to the new pond. All the way out there. All the way out there on the chatterbait. There must have been a school of them following it because I got so many hits all the way out there. Chatterbait. There we go. Man, these fish are super cold. Super cold. This will be the fifth fish. I'm gonna run back to the tub and put them in. I think this way will be faster. There we go. The fifth. Ooh, he almost jumped out. The fifth fish. So we're only gonna do five today and see how that helps. If it doesn't, we'll come back down here and we'll do this again and like take five more out. Now we're gonna head over to the pond up top and then relocate these guys. Number two, I set the hook on him a little bit hard, but hey, he's gonna enjoy this new pond. Lots more food than the other place. Here we go. Oh, we'll let you go over here where there's no, not as many weeds. There we go. Another male in the pond. He's gonna do some circles around the pond. Kind of figure out the new area. Fish number three. This pond needs small ones and big ones. And we do got one female in there for sure. I think there was four males and one female, but I'm not sure. Ooh, there he goes, just took off. And that water temperature is the same as the water temperature in that pond just over there. So they're, they're not gonna go into shock or anything. Four, super skinny, that should change here. And the next, month or so he should be really fat and happy full of frogs full of minnows full of bluegill anything he'll be so much happier here full of grasshoppers everything here we go enjoy your new home now for the big girl ah, there we go this is the big girl right here she's super skinny right now but like i said should change very soon the little ones are hard to grab in that cooler she was easy. You're gonna make lots of little babies for this pond. Here we go. There she goes. She's swimming away right there. 
and watch her swim all the way away. Go straight towards the middle. This is all packed full of weeds and it's gonna be amazing. We can put a couple more fish in here, but there's also another pond on this property that we'd fill up with bass as well. Thanks so much for watching today's video. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for a ton of amazing content coming your way and you're not gonna miss it. I'm so excited for this new project we got going here. That pond is now my project. We're gonna work on making this pond the best fishing pond ever and we're gonna work on getting that one started and there's another one in the woods behind me way back there we're gonna work on getting that one started as well there's no fish in both the two ponds that we're gonna only this pond right here is they're fishing so i'm excited to get that started so thanks for watching see ya